What I have here is the Pro Scenic Robot Vacuum that I bought off of Amazon. When I bought it, it was about sixth most popular robot vacuum on Amazon. And uh, the reason why I got it, for one, the price point seemed to be really, really nice, as well as it had the features that I was looking for. So one, it's got mopping, which I'm excited to see how well it does, and of course the, the vacuuming. And then it also maps the room that uh, that it's working in. And I'm really excited to see how well that works. And so let's dive in. Let's uh, do a little bit of unboxing first, see what's in the box, and then we'll put it to the test. The unboxing was pretty straightforward without any major complications. I would have liked to see a little more effort in the design of the box itself, since the robot came with a pretty hefty price tag, but luckily that was the only thing that seemed cheap in this entire experience. The look and feel of the robot is excellent in every way as far as I can tell. Very pleasing to the eye with its reflective polish on the top. The overall build quality feels very sturdy. Uh, far better than my old Ufi robot vacuum. I don't even know how to say that. Ufi? Uf, Ufi? I don't know. E-U-F-Y. The audible notifications were a pleasant surprise. My old robot vacuum would just stop and I had no idea why. But these notifications you knew right away when something was going on. I even managed to get some of them recorded. Take a look. Oh. One of the main brushes is stuck. I love how methodical the path was first going around the border of the space and then covering the inside of the border with perfect lines going back and forth. So here are the accessories that it came with. Uh, we've got two little spinner guys that do all of the hard work. We've got those two. We have another filter. Uh, so in case the original gets gummed up, this is available as well. We have 10 total um, of these like microfiber dust cloths that you actually get wet and then attach to the mop. So there's nine or 10 of those. Um, this is what it looks like just for comparison. I ran it once along our floor and then rinsed it out and um, once it was done and tried to clean it up as much as I could. And so these do um, get used and degrade uh, definitely. So uh, you can see the difference in color between the brand new ones and one that has been used as just a single time is all. So it's nice that that comes with 10 of those and spare parts are available on their website as well so you can order them separately. Now one thing that this came with that I actually don't know what they're for are these little knobby things. Um, they're like these little bumper deals and I have no idea what they're for. So maybe in the comments, if you know what they're for, throw it in the comments below. And But there are four of them, so uh, I'll keep them and I'm sure I will figure that out as time goes on. So those are the accessories and uh, it's nice that they're all included and hopefully I don't have to be using them anytime soon. The runtime is excellent. My best guess is around five hours of runtime. It only takes about 30 minutes to clean my first floor and according to the app, it stays a at above 90% before going back to the charger. So plenty of battery to do the job. Advertisement says the battery life is only 150 minutes or so, and I think they are being very conservative in that estimate. So far, I have been very impressed on how intelligent this robot vacuum has been with avoiding obstacles. Uh, I had an old vacuum that would get stuck within a couple of minutes, usually under my couches or entertainment center. This guy has yet to get stuck on and only stops itself if something is jammed in its brushes. Okay, let's see what's going on. It says main brush is stuck. Oh, look at this guy. So I've got some bad pieces of something rather. 
in there that got stuck, but it's pretty cool because it sensed that, that was in there. It got stuck and it told me, which is really cool. I think that's neat. There's only one spot where I thought it might have trouble getting out and I just waited patiently to see what would happen and it came out uh, all on its own. Pretty cool stuff. So I've run this a couple of times throughout our entire first floor area and uh, I emptied it out, ran it another time, emptied it out and now um, this is the third round and I wanted to show you how much this thing actually picks up even day after day which is pretty crazy stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this just so you can see how much dust this actually picks up which is crazy. So uh, this is also a good time to show you how to clean the, the bin. So we're just gonna go ahead and empty this guy out. And you're gonna take the extras here and just kinda get rid of it. Now it does come with a nice little um, brush and what you'll do is you'll just kind of brush out the filter there and, and any other spots. There, now that we have the majority of the, the dust out, um, we will wipe it with a wet rag and get it all cleaned up. Here we have the remote, and just to show you a little bit around the remote, we've got the home button, which will send it back to the dock for charging. We've got directional options here in case you want to use it manually. Then we have spot clean, mop mode, and mute button, which actually mutes the audible notifications uh, in case you are well aware of what it actually is doing and you don't need it to speak to you. Uh, I thought this was interesting. It's got a volume button which reduces the speed of the motor if you're dealing with a situation where the kids are asleep or you don't want to wake anybody then you can reduce the, the volume of the motor um, and the motor speed. And then there's this button at the bottom which gives it full throttle which is like clean the hardest you can, you hit that button and it goes into full throttle mode and gets it done. So there's the remote, pretty fancy. I think it looks a lot like the Apple remote. I think they did that on purpose. Um, it looks very much like a TV remote that people are used to using. So pretty cool stuff. The mopping feature was a pleasant surprise. Uh, I was expecting it to take that microfiber cloth and drag it along with it uh, and maybe get things a little bit wet. But other than that, um, I wasn't expecting much. However, when you hit the mopping mode on the remote control, what it does is it does this little jig. Now, effectiveness wise, I would probably give it probably a six out of 10. Although it deserves two additional bonus points since the fact that I'm not actually the one that's mopping the floor. So um, I would give it a solid eight out of 10 in its effectiveness uh, to be able to mop the floor. The app is easy to use and has all the functions I have ever wanted. I love the view of my home and the fact that it shows the path that it has taken in real time is a big plus, including statistics and battery life. There are a lot of functions here, so if you have any questions about individual functions, then feel free to ask them in the comments section below, and I will do my best to respond. They do make a dust collector. It's $99 and sold separately. Uh, pair it with this robot and you have a completely hands-off experience. As you can see, I am a big fan of this robot vacuum, especially for its price. And I've had a lot of fun putting this together to show you all of the fun features and capabilities of it. Uh, if you found this review helpful, feel free to comment and subscribe below and so that you can see any new videos that I put up. Also, take a look at my friend's channel, Electric Revolution. He is the pro. He's so good. And, uh, and so he's doing electric bikes, scooters, and skateboards um, and other electrical things that you can take outdoors. So take a look at his channel and you will be very happy that you did. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.